Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, we're going to be doing the initial burn in, a little fire management, and the biscuit test on my brand new Bison Red Dog Smoker. Stay tuned. Alright, so before I get started on this video, if you guys have not checked out my last video on the Bison Red Dog, I showed you guys how I prepped the surface, cleared it, in order to obtain this patina look that you see right here. Alright, so first things first, let's open up the door. I'm going to remove the top grate. And also the bottom grate. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just rinse off the inside of the cooking chamber. I'm not gonna apply any soap, just plain old water, just to remove any of the little tiny bits of metal and maybe some dirt that may be left behind. So here we go. All right, so that looks good right there. I'm gonna let this dry up. Meanwhile, let's go wash the grates. All right, so I've got my grates on this table. I'm gonna be using some Dawn dish soap and a brush to wash off my grates. You guys might be asking, well, why are you using Dawn dish soap? Well, this is the stuff that we wash our dishes with, so it's gotta be safe, right? So just wet the grates. Wet your brush. Add the soap to your brush. Add quite a bit of it. And just scrub the grates. Believe it or not, the Dawn dish soap does get rid of a lot of the surface rust, okay? Now I'm sure there's a few people out there that do not wash the inside of the smokers. Check out my hand. This is why I highly recommend that you wash the inside of the smoker and the grates as well. All right, so rinse off the grate. All right, that looks good right there. I'm just gonna stand these up, lean them up against the wall, let them air dry for a few minutes. Meanwhile, let's go get this pit started. All right, let's get ready to light up our firebox. I'm gonna be using Texas Post Oak from Gourmet Wood Products. This is available at Academy Sports and Outdoors. So if you guys have not checked them out, go out there and pick up a few of these boxes. And I gotta tell you, these splits are perfect for any backyard pit. All right, so I'm gonna set this wood up exactly the way I set it on my 1,000 gallon bison smoker at my food truck. Just lay out a few splits. Now remember, this is a long firebox, so you can also use the 18 inch splits with no problem. So I know a lot of folks like to use charcoal, they light that up, then they put their splits on top of that charcoal. I used to use that, but I gotta tell you, as I get older, I also get wiser. You really don't need to spend money on that charcoal. Grab yourself one of these grill guns from Grill Blazer, and that's all you need. Check this out. All right, about a minute and a half later, our splits are lit. I'm gonna let this warm up for a few minutes and I'll bring you guys right back. All right guys, so the pit has been running for about 10 minutes. Just wanted to give you guys an update. I've got the door completely open. You can see the splits are pretty lit up. Let's go take a look at that temperature. So we are sitting at 325 degrees with those six splits of wood. So I gotta tell you, I like to smoke at 275 Something tells me I'm going to be able to do that with three, maybe four splits. So this smoker is going to be running really efficient. Look at that. So far burning pretty clean. Got a little bit of white smoke, but again, those splits of wood are not 100% lit. So I'm going to let the pit warm up for about 30 minutes and I'll show you guys the next step. All right, so I want to show you guys something really quick. So I closed the door to about three inches open, as you can see right there and our pit is still lit. You can see the fire right there. Look what happened to our temperature. We actually went up to about 345 degrees. So I gotta tell you, two or three splits, and this bad boy is going to run at 275. Now, we will see you guys in 30 minutes. All right, so about 30 minutes later, we're still running at 350 degrees. Now, let's season up the cooking chamber. So I'm gonna open up the door. All right, so I've got a can of vegetable spray oil. You can use whatever oil you want, grapeseed oil, 
canola, olive oil, tallow, whatever you want. I'm going to be using vegetable oil. It was the cheapest oil I could find. I'm going to spray the inside, the entire inside of this cooking chamber. Make sure you get all the rails. All right, so next, go ahead and install your cooking grates. Now be careful because the inside of the cooking chamber is pretty hot. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the bottom grate. All right, just like that. Let's go ahead and install our top grate. And spray this as well. And last but not least, go ahead and spray the inside of your door. All right, I'm gonna shut the door, let the inside get really nice and hot. I'll bring you guys back in 20 minutes. We'll try that biscuit test. All right, so 20 minutes later, our pit is running right at 300 degrees. Let's go ahead and start this biscuit test. So I'm gonna open up my door. Now it really doesn't matter which biscuits you use for the biscuit test, but I'm gonna be using these Grand's Southern Home Style Biscuits. There's eight biscuits in a can. Should be enough. If not, I got a spare. I hate opening up these biscuit cans because they pop, just feels weird. And this one did not pop, so I'm just gonna tap it. Woo! See what I mean? It scares me every time. All right, so here's the biscuits. I'm gonna lay one right here on this corner right here. On the far back corner. Be careful because these grates are hot. Right in the middle. And the right rear. To me, that's gonna be the hottest part because that's where our firebox is. Front right, front in the middle, right smack in the middle, middle right. You know what, that's eight biscuits. Let me open up the other can. I'm gonna put one on the top just to see how hot and how much faster this one's gonna cook. All right, I'm gonna to try to maintain the temperature at 300 degrees. And I'll bring you guys back in about 20 minutes. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been about 25 minutes since we put our biscuits on. Let's take a look at them and see how they look. Now I do have a cookie sheet right here, so I'm gonna place them exactly how they lay on the grates, just to take a look at them. But I gotta tell you, so far, they look extremely even. Obviously this one on the top is burning a little bit hotter, and so are the ones in the front, but they are not burnt. But I gotta tell you, they look very even so far. So let's take them off. Look at that, not burnt. Same, perfect. Man, so far so good. Very consistent across the grates. Now the one on the top, again, still not burnt, but it definitely cooked a little bit faster than the ones on the bottom. So let's go inspect these. All right, so here's our biscuits. And I gotta tell you, I am really impressed with how even all these biscuits look. None of them are burnt. In fact, these ones on the very front are cooked a little bit more on the front edge, but again, not that much of a difference. This one right here on the very front, right, is definitely the hot spot in the smoker. But again, this biscuit is not burnt whatsoever. They look absolutely perfect. I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna split this one open. Oh yeah. Mmm. Man, these biscuits are so good. Gotta go inside and get some butter and some jelly on these bad boys. Even this biscuit that was on the top, again, the bottom is a little bit dark, and it's expected that the top shelf runs about 50 degrees hotter than the bottom shelf. That's a great location to smoke some chicken, get some nice crispy skin on those chicken wings, etc. So let's split this one open. 
Again, heck yes. Nothing wrong with this biscuit. All right, I gotta stop eating these biscuits. So again, all of these biscuits look extremely even. They all look identical. They're not burnt. Color-wise, all of them look exactly the same. I mean, what more can you ask for? I gotta tell you, Thomas and his pit builders know exactly what they're doing when they're building these smokers. So one thing I didn't mention is I added two more splits as soon as I placed the biscuits on the grate. And it's been running with those two splits of wood. The temperature did come down. We're running about 260 degrees. Again, two small splits, and this pit will run at 275 degrees like clockwork. Now, as far as the stack is concerned, I've got it 100% of the way open, and I highly recommend that you guys cook with your stack 100% of the way open. Now, as far as the firebox door is concerned, I've got it about five inches open, and it seems to like that spot right there. Again, I'm at 3,800 feet above sea level, so depending on where you're at, that's gonna determine how open or how closed that firebox door is. Got a nice little coal bed, and there's those two splits that I added earlier. Again, clean burning, no issues whatsoever. And I gotta tell you, this firebox does hold a coal bed, which is important in smoking. So there you can see the temperature going back up to 275 degrees. And again, it came down to about 260 because we had the door open. So I'm really impressed with the smoker so far. I cannot wait to actually smoke something on this bad boy. All right, that concludes my burn-in, fire management, and biscuit test on my brand new Bison Red Dog Offset Smoker. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.